welcome back to the brand new video on today's video we're gonna do end game jujutsu kaisen phantom parade tier list mainly i will use the reference from wiki but as well i will give you my furthermore opinions about the characters that i did try out this will be super important especially for the global players to see and plan ahead for all the characters that will be released um, from the global launch onwards okay leave a like subscribe your opinions in the comment section below no worries as soon as i test all of those characters at least most of them i will create my own uh, tier list but specifically we're gonna more focus on global launch and as well providing that end game tier list so you're gonna know much more to plan ahead leave a like subscribe your opinions in the comment section below and let we start first i will start with tank disclaimer this tier list was created by staff team members of the english community discord it is made mostly with manual mode in mind, so keep in mind that some rankings could change when considering auto mode. Characters are divided between damage, support and tank lists. Use the tabs, blah blah. So here I will show you the tier list from SS to C from, for both tank, support and damage dealers. Okay? So, first of all... We're gonna talk about this to SS uh, tier 10 characters. I will briefly talk, talk about the characters, briefly mention what they're capable of, and we're gonna move on. I don't wanna waste too much time, so we focus on most important things. Now, uh, Sakirin though will be released later on from the global launch, but she will be one of the best, the best green tank out there. Why is that? A black flash not capable of that at the start of each turn and if own hp is 30 percent or below increase own taijutsu and jujutsu damage deals melee combination uh deals melee combined damage again taijutsu jujutsu increase own ju taijutsu damage if own 30 if own hp is 35 percent or above sacrifices 10 percent cannot die from sacrificing hp Again, more damage right here. It's AoE. The lower own HP is the greater damage. Fills own ultimate gauge by 250. And then we have the ultimate. Again, deals more damage right here. Now, based on her stat, based on her skill kit, you would say, bro, how can she be a tank? How can she be a tank? You, right? But let's look at the passive. Grants revival status to self. At the start of each turn, and if own HP is 60% or below, decrease own damage received. The lower own HP is, the greater damage received decrease up to 40%. At the start of each turn, and if own HP is 30% or below, decrease own damage received by 50%. When the character triggers the revival status, grants attack notification to self. Guys, why she's a tank? She can provide DPS. That's for sure. But she's a tank because she has that revivability. She's super hard to kill. That lowering the damage, uh, I believe it's pretty clear why she is the best tank in the game on JP. Now, the best tank, maybe I shouldn't use that word. I will say one of the best tanks because I need to test her out to talk so confidently, right? Uh, then we have here a Miwa. Again, another uh, tank, one of the greatest. Uh, we can see that again increase own damage so you can see that later on they started doing a lot of those not a lot but they, they started doing the characters who can provide really crazy dps and be tank tanky that is super important that is super important so i love it again look at this increase on critical hit rate i need to keep it shorter evades enemy attack increase own sword sheet count attack the selected enemy counter status when targeted by enemy single target melee and sword sheet count is one or above she increases her damage then uh, deals more taijutsu jujutsu damage increase own taijutsu fills own ultimate gauge and decrease sword sheet count by one again she's buffing like crazy increase own damage boom buffing buffing and then on the passive look at this 
When critical hit is performed, increase sword sh uh, sheet count by 2. It can stack up to 50, 15 times at the start of each turn and if counter status is applied to self, increase sword uh, sheet count uh, by 1. At the start of each turn, depending of own a sheet count applying the following effect decrease on taijutsu damage increase on break damage increase on critical hit damage so she has a lot of counters can take a damage but as well can provide damage again absolutely love it as a tank this is something that global should plan ahead in future to possibly have on, on your account and it sometimes you really need those tanks and uh, now we have more I will mainly talk about the SS, S, and maybe A, but that's it. Now we have Panda. For example, we have uh, this Panda right here that I used him a lot. Uh, he's an extremely good uh, unit in the early game of Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade. He will provide good damage and crazy, crazy tanking capabilities with, I believe, also Revive. I cannot know. Attract all enemies. Decrease on damage again. Beautiful tank. Increase on break damage. Okay. Yes. Grant survival status to self one time. Okay. Revival status. So he, he is pretty nice. Now we have also this red panda that will be released later on. He will deal damage, decrease the selected enemy damage. Again, we'll have that attract, decrease on damage received. Again, he's also buffing his damage. Revival? Yeah. He'll be providing also insane damage and taking capabilities. But again, not as good as this two for sure. Now we have as well SR character Miva. Attracts, again, attracts all enemies, attacks. That's beautiful uh that that is the, that tanky ability grants counter status that's also beautiful and so much helpful so yeah for sr she can be extremely helpful for the tank tanking capabilities uh then we have a b and c Overall, I will be more focused on SS and S tier. Now there is a Panda, right? Another SRR Panda, by the way. That's really good. Inumaki can be really solid for the tanking. But this potentially could be really helpful for you guys to know about Panda. Okay, R Panda can be helpful as well as a tank in early game. So have in mind, attracts all enemies decrease on damage received he doesn't have revive but he can also tank stuff so that's really really good uh okay and then we have others that i won't go into that now let's we go now at support characters again on global launch the best support will be yaga uh, he's buffing all allies taijutsu jujutsu also decreasing the enemy taijutsu damage jujutsu damage and also increase the damage received he will buff a lot and he'll be so much helpful for you on the global launch still today one of the best ones momo i have her i've been using her absolutely love it uh grand evasion status she's usually usually well known for that again increase all allies damage increase all allies break damage increase all allies critical hit rate critical hit damage cr critical hit resistance Decrease the selected enemy ultimate count gauge by one and it can stun. Wow, she's incredible. She's top tier support and one of those units you would like to have in future. Not the meta, but in a meta of support, yes. We have another Yaga. This one SSR. Again, he can provide as well insane, insane buffing. That will be extremely helpful for you. Uh, we have as well... Gato increase on critical hit rate damage. Um, da, 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 da. If own curse energy is 30 or above, increase the select enemy taijutsu damage received. When defeating an enemy, recovers own curse uh, energy by 10. The more enemies defeated at once, the greater the curse energy recovers. <laughs> okay, also extremely helpful support. 
and Megumi. Megumi, guys, I've been using him. And uh, he's extremely, extremely fun to use and super broken character. So he can fill up his own ultimate dodge. Uh, he can increase the select enemy damage received. AoE beautiful damage uh, with this one. Increase the select enemy taijutsu damage received while the main is active. He also buffs like everything. Combine damage equal taijutsu jujutsu to selected enemy. Increase the selected enemy taijutsu damage. Stuns. And look at this now. Decrease all enemies damage. Uh, increase all enemies damage received. Grants attack immunity to self. Decrease own skill curse energy cost uh, unable to film own ultimate gauge that's the only weakness he has but if you use it properly top tier crazy broken support uh okay now we have as well one of the newest characters toge again pretty much all of those characters work in some way like the same really to the support tanks but there is those uh big differences because some of those characters will help you out in this game mode some of those on in different game modes so it's really situational it it really depends but inomaki is really really good uh support maybe not the best for the ssr uh kagu uh gaku kanyi gaku ganyi oh my god he can be also really good uh, the, the support, right? Look, inflicts confusion status, stuns. So he can do a lot to mess up the opponents. Increase all enemies damage received. Like all of those is super important things to know. Uh, then we have here uh, Hanami. Also really good support. With decreasing the enemy's damage, increasing own ultimate skill, skill guide, etc. etc. Also decrease all enemies' damage. And a lot of these things that are really, really helpful as a support. I've seen a lot of people using the cursed energy uh, Itadori. He can be extremely uh, good as a support as well. Increasing that damage received to enemies, increase own and allies behind ultimate guide. Uh, Charge rate that is super important, stunning, increase own critical hit rate, evasions, like a lot. This guy does a lot and I absolutely love him as a support, okay? I would even put him really close to that SS mark. Okay, then we have Ghetto. On the mo zero movie call up, he will appear again amazing support with buffing capabilities and debuffing capabilities on the enemies definitely with using all of those characters you're gonna maximize the amount of damage uh okay now i won't go to every single one of those because for now that's not like the main important topic that we read the kits uh, but i still wanted to go in more details uh, about those more top tiers uh supports now for the global launch super important like uh, momo is eight tier support but on global launch it will be extremely valuable so yuki extremely good on global launch just so you know then we have another yuki extremely important for the global launch uh, then we have momo extremely important for the global launch related to supports again increasing all allies damage granting evasion stunning she can do so much don't underestimate her she's one of the best supports on global launch and as well here uh toge really really good the r1 and can be helpful with feeling the ultimate skill guide and as well decreasing all enemies damage received um really good related to the r it will be extremely extremely helpful uh for the global launch okay uh so pretty much now i showed you everything related to the supports maybe not literally everything but just so you know also honorable mention like even though i prefer more those other srs for the global launch but yeah you can use toto as well for support on global launch but you can see where those characters are now currently in the endgame tier list, which is super important. 
okay <laughs> i left this for the end because here i want to keep it basic i want to keep it basic because i already did cover all gojo showcases i did cover their kit details and everything else i talked about og okay and utah i also did talk about him a lot let me just make something clear utah goes in god tier okay gojo's and toji can fight toji is like i would even say better than gojo's uh maybe tojo toji and utah maybe these two guys are actually god tier like toji does so much uh and does such a huge damage and does does such a crazy aoe ultimate healing removing attack notification like it does so much and he doesn't leave the battle like gojo like two gojos right they leave the battle they they're imp they're impossible to kill but this guy does so much i don't know guys but i still would just say utah goes into god here utah uh the best unit in the game decrease all enemies critical hit hit uh, critical hit resistance depending on own jujutsu and remaining hp instantly kill the enemy uh, deals combined damage okay deals range damage aoe increase own taijutsu jujutsu enable oh, to, to fill ultimate skill guide after that but it really doesn't matter because look at this if an ally's HP 60 or below and own curse energy is 10 or above, recovers all allies HP by 25. He does everything. Decrease own curse energy by 10, increase own juju taijutsu jujutsu, fills own ultimate skill gauge by 200. When targeted by enemy melee attack, certain chance to deal 120% melee jujutsu damage to the enemy. Increase all like he is buffing and debuffing and healing. It's crazy and definitely utah is a must-have god tier character especially when you when you actually use it bro this guy i use him as a help oh my god uh but yeah definitely one of the most broken toji as well for the three gojos i did talk about everything blue gojo will be the best on global launch and still today he'll be broken on the jp so no worries about that uh blue and the green gojo they leave after seven turns both of them provide insane massive ultimate damage uh green gojo is even stronger with the debuffing he can provide and the buffs as well but uh, the green gojo big weakness after you use the ultimate he's a goner he he goes away after seven turns but even if you use the ultimate sooner than that you're gonna leave the battle blue gojo on another hand he can use the ultimate but he won't leave but he will leave after seven turns both of them are unkillable and then we have the uh yellow gojo right here who is super broken and he stays in the battle as well like he's crazy good okay itadori he'll be the one on the global launch uh, he'll be actually a really really good dps and extremely useful so if you pull him maybe from the early gacha not gojo don't be sad and then we have many others uh, here. Just to mention a few things. Mahito, by the way, is S tier in the endgame damage dealing tier list. Okay. And he is, listen to this, free to play character. Free character, grindable character. And actually he'll be providing pretty nuts damage. This is the brand new Nobara Kugisaki. And she has been added to the tier list in the S tier. Then we have the Kanto, blue Kanto right here as well in the S tier. And we won't go now in much analysis here because they all do insane damage at the end of the day. But some of them just do much more. And mainly I wanted to talk about these god tier units right here. And for the damage dealing, that's like priority to know uh okay also really really good rat itadori for the damage purposes and uh overall he's also increasing all allies break damage also doing a lot and provide insane dps so really helpful and then we have these two characters that will be on global launch yogo will be a little bit later on but uh really insane dps and then as well kugisaki 
I di did already talked about her a million times, so I won't go in much details. We have Red Nobara, who is also great. And as well here, we have Ma Maki, right? Yeah, also providing really good damage. Really crazy damage. Uh, a tier, I talked about this. B, C, you can check it out for yourself. And that's pretty much it. Again, I, I went in the details where I wanted to go to learn something for myself as well. A few things that I wasn't sure yet. Uh, but definitely that's it. Hopefully you did enjoy it. I didn't want to go in like full-on detail explanations because for now there is no need. Let's wait for the global. I will create my own tier list. I will also create the global launch tier list. Uh, just so you know, for the re-rolling and everything, I will do my best. So no worries about that. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Leave a like, subscribe. Your opinions in the comment section below. And yeah, see you next one. Bye guys.